that has the ability to go 950 degrees, and it's a fantastic portable steak, hamburger, sear cooking product. And it's not to say that these are stereotyped into just, just high temp cooking. You can cook vegetables and seafood and other, other cooks on it. It just happens to specialize in sear cooking, which makes it extraordinary for pork chops, steaks, or uh, traditional sear. Well, we're going to go for a break, and when we come back, we have Chris's favorite. <laughs> Well, this is, a, I guess you like them all, but this is one you said, I got to have one of these one day. Yep. So you, you're calling it things that yep. are not as if they were, right? Yeah, I just, uh, I just saw this for the first time uh, this week um, and uh, was, was impressed. He was telling me about they were going to bring this one because the only one I've ever seen or anything about was the green egg because uh -huh. I've seen that on the TV shows and the barbecue uh, championships and things that, that, that I watch and what have you. And uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take one of each. I mean, they're, they're, they're that... <laughs> You know, we're on a Christian television station. You're saying, well, why are you showing us grills? Because you need to eat healthy. These and are so some healthier ways. And ladies, let me tell you, this is a great thing to get your husbands involved in. Highly exalted is he. You know, if we take care of our bodies, that we are the temple of God, and we take care of our bodies, that's what he really wants us to do. And us, you know, us Christians, we like to fellowship. Everything's about food. I mean, really, we don't drink, we don't do this, we don't do that, but we like to eat. And sometimes we just eat the wrong food. So we wanted to show you a way that you could cook your foods healthy and eat good. And so uh, we, we didn't talk about this one. Can I talk about this one now? That's right. Yeah, that's called, it's called the Evo. It's a relatively new product on the market. Um, it's basically a very large uh, radius cast steel cooktop. So um, it's like a huge cast iron griddle. Uh, it's totally indirect heat again. It's, propane, it's either propane or natural gas. And there's basically two very large burners, one here and one in the center, uh -huh. which allow for you to control temperature on the outside or the inside of the cooking surface. So, oh, just like a stove. That's right. And as a matter of fact, we use it quite often in our, in, during our lessons. And we'll put, uh, if we're cooking by, on a, in a pot, we'll put the pot on it because you can cook in a oh. pot right next to vegetables or whatever else you're cooking because the entire surface becomes hot. hot. Right. Well, can we see it? Absolutely. The, right I'm now, we're, you know you're going to be cheating. See it? Yeah, I know I want to see it. <laughs> he has been making sweet potato slices. So Chris will talk us a little bit through the uh, recipe on the sweet potatoes. They look pretty good. <laughs> well, guys, I'm not sure what you consider to be healthy eating. Uh, but for me, it's fresh food prepared simply. Um, you know, the saying goes that you want to shop around the, uh, the outside of the supermarket, the, the outside wall. Yep. Uh, that's what we have here for you. So we're going to do a few things. Um, right now, sort of a, a couple different dishes. One is a variation on steak and potatoes. Um, we're doing sweet potatoes. Uh, we're uh, sauteing sweet potatoes on the, on the griddle here. Uh, what we're doing is a little bit unique. We season the griddle itself as opposed to the potato uh, with um, dizzy pig pineapple head rub. You have that here, yep. right there in front yep. of you. These are all products we carry at our store down on Broad Street. Give it to me. I want to show what they look like. Give yeah, I got you one of these for Christmas. Yep, I got that for Christmas. Dizzy I haven't tried it yet. Pig. Yep, pineapple head rub. Now, there's no pig in there, is there? <laughs> I, I hope. You hope there is? Or there <laughs> love, is? love pig, but that's a, that's a different uh, show. I hope there's no pig no, in there. No, there's no pig. No, it's <laughs> And uh, we're, also using, we're also using yeah. pecan oil. Uh, pecan oil, maybe Greg, you can talk a little bit about pecan oil and its I'll health benefits. It yeah, pecan oil is also a relatively new product. I believe it's been on the market about eight years. Um, and and the, the effect of, I mean, the, the biggest benefit for outdoor cooking is, generally speaking, it's pretty hard to cook outdoors and stay under 300 degrees. Um, now, not for low and slow bar cooking like Boston butts and turkey real slow, but but when you're using oil like this, or a cooking oil, a vegetable oil or olive, you're generally doing vegetables or fish. And in those cooks, you're in the 300 range, 450 range, but you're not under 320. And the, one of the, the secrets most people aren't aware of is that the, probably the most common oil of choice would be virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. And virgin olive oil starts to smoke or burn at 320 degrees. So it's really not a great choice for outdoor cooking. Now. A less refined olive oil will burn at about 420 degrees. So it's better, but one, it's not as commonly chosen, and two, 
it's still a fairly low temp. I mean, 420 is asking a lot of most people to stay under that all the time, because if you get over it for just a few minutes, it'll burn. So one of the things I love about pecan oil is it doesn't burn until it exceeds 480 degrees. It gives you a lot bigger window to not worry about. The other nice benefit is it has such a natural sweet flavor, much like pecans themselves, mm -hmm. that you end up not using as much butter when you cook. So when we do our cooking school, um, which we do weekly, and uh, we, Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights, 5.30. 5.30 in Augusta, Georgia for That's the right. Augusta viewers and North Augusta local viewers. That's right. Now for you that live somewhere far away, you may want to just come here and spend the weekend. Well, and you know, if, you, over for Tuesday. if you're not here, we do publish our recipes and we publish a lot of short video blogs on our website, which is idratherbefireside.com. So idratherbefireside.com. Rather okay. And if you go to the blog slash recipe page, Chris and I publish our recipes um, weekly in most cases. And we'll also have our customers send in recipes that we'll publish. And very often, if it's a more difficult cook, we'll go ahead and do a video blog, three minutes or so, uh, and kind of walk you through exactly how we did it. And we'll show you while we're doing it. Uh, clips of like the standing ribos roast, for instance, yeah. was kind of a fun one to see because you're doing an enormous sear cook for a while. And um, so we put that on the web as well. But now on here you put down, I saw you before, <laughs> you poured that, <clears throat> the oil on the pecan. That's right. And then you, did you put some of this down? I didn't see that part. Chris, did you do that? Absolutely. We seasoned the yeah. griddle with pecan oil and uh, Dizzy Pig pineapple head rub. Uh -huh. And we just let those saute for a little while. Um, the reason we're using sweet potatoes is because um, sweet potatoes are considered a superfood, uh, much like cranberries, pecan, uh, uh, pomegranates, things of that nature. It's just, it's a potato, but it's so much better for you. Uh, so we're pairing that with a beautiful ribeye steak. Um, all the proteins wow. tonight, by the way, we got from the New York Butcher Shop in Surrey Center. They were nice enough to give us some of their wonderful wares. Uh, I've seasoned this again with a Dizzy Pig product that, uh, can you tell I really like it? Not sure where it went, but it's the uh, the cow lick up oh, right there up in front. Cow lick steak rub, and uh, we'll throw that Did on you the. Rub it? Uh, it? You know, What's I didn't quite rub it. Uh, you just sprinkled it on. I just sprinkled it on. Okay. Yep. Made sure it was you know relatively liberal, and we'll be cooking that on the tech in a few moments here. Um, I also have some uh, sushi grade ahi tuna that we'll be uh, we'll be searing. You want to go ahead and do some of that stuff now, or what do you want to do? Absolutely, we can we're certainly do that. Right now. We're cooking right now. Yep. All right. Uh, we'll have some asparagus I can saute up, some shrimp, and some chicken that we've prepared. Great thing about the uh, about this Evo here is that you can cook a lot of food at once, which which hopefully I'll be able to show you here. Wow. And the camera left. She's sitting over there. This is a great way to do potatoes, uh, just a little bit different yeah. than, than yes. typical. Take red potatoes, white potatoes, sweet potatoes. We prefer sweet, uh, whatever you like. Just take, cut it down to, it doesn't matter how thick it is, as long as they're all about the same. Gotcha. Um, my kids, for instance, love it when we do um, one almost wafer thin. Yeah. And it cooks a little faster, but it's like it? a healthier potato chip. Yeah. And, um, and you can spice it to whatever you like. But generally cook time is about 15 to 25 minutes, depending on how thick they are. Okay. If they're real thick, like a three quarter inch thickness, okay. it's gonna be more like 45, 40 minutes. Okay. And you can do it on just about any type of griddle. Now what, what's with the gloves? I like cooking with gloves for uh, sanitary reasons okay. and it keeps me from having to wash them every time I touch a different product. Yeah, because you're not supposed to contaminate the food. That's right, I've got two cutting boards <laughs> here. Uh, one I use for raw food. <laughs> We eat it goes to the same place. I never understood that. <laughs> they always say that. You know when you're doing a turkey, or oh, wash your hands afterwards because you want to contaminate. What? It's going to the same place. <laughs> okay. Okay. All yeah, right. No so, one answered me yet, but I guess that's all right. Because it's raw. Salmonella. Well, if you're doing multiple cooks and you're dealing with raw food in some part of it, that's true. You don't want to. You want to go from raw to done and you transfer it. You want to go from it. raw to done. Uh, no, you don't. Because if you're handling uh, a raw product, like for instance, uh -huh. if you're doing um, you know, it, virtually anything, but especially pork, uh, if you're handling raw product or poultry, and then you go over to a vegetable that's finished, uh, it won't Damn cook man. off. So oh, okay. you do need to be cautious when you're transferring from one to the other. Garlic? Garlic. Baby spinach. Uh huh. Wow. And you're going to steam that here, right? I am. You gotta have the lid to see. You want the little lens? Or the, do you want the big one? 
Pickle, please. Okay. A little bit of white wine. White wine's great to get a little steam going, okay. as well as adding flavor. All the calories in wine are really in the alcohol, and when you're cooking it this way, it cooks right off. Cover it. It's fine. Hmm? Don't eat you. I am starting to steam like that. And yep, look about the nice thing about this, it drips off on the side. Yeah, this you is a really easy grill. That's quick. That's and easy. You, it's a really easy grill to keep clean too. Because everything around it is stainless steel. It all wipes down everything goes down to one drip pan and collects in one place. So you can spray it down with Windex when you're finished and wipe it off and you're done. It's yeah. real easy. I, I can't believe he's done already. They cook down pretty quickly. You can you can have pretty much a meal done within a half hour, easy. Oh yeah, pretty much anything under the well, sun. When I saw that big bunch of spinach on there, I thought, now what's he doing with all that spinach? <laughs> and look at it. You know, you could use the whole grill for your spinach. I would have thought I'd be on there a lot longer than that. Yeah, I would too. I just used to the low and slow, you know. Do you? Do Eight you hours. Right. Do you That's have right. that uh, pecan oil? No, not yet. He just told me about that uh, last week. Again, my favorite thing about it, not the, the best thing about it is that the, the, the flash point or the burn point in this style of cooking. But one of the additional benefits is just the wonderful fact that it's so sweet, people don't ask for butter. Uh -huh. So when we're, on that, when we're having that conversation about how to cook healthier, it's a home run. The fact that it has a high level of antioxidants is great, but the fact that it uh, it generally does not create the request for butter yeah. is, uh, is a home run. Now you put salt and pepper on there? Salt and pepper, yep, very simple. Okay, now, sea now, salt, now, now that we're... Sea salt. Sorry? Sea salt, regular salt. Kosher salt. Kosher. My preferred salt, yep. Kosher salt, that's good. And, uh, we have a, we have a <laughs> nice... <laughs> we have a, we have a, we have a, a caller that has a question. Since you're cooking a meat, I'll go ahead and ask it now. They want to know, how can you tell when the meat's done without cutting into it? Good question. De depends on the meat that you're cooking. Um, best way to do it is to know the temperatures at which the particular meat that you're cooking is done and have a reliable temperature probe. Uh, short of that, there are ways, like with beef, you can touch it and uh, tell depending on how its firmness, uh, whether it's medium rare, medium, medium well. Uh, with the tuna right here, the tuna right here, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna let it kiss the heat. Really, I mean, maybe a total cook time of two minutes or so, because um, we really want it to be but raw in the like center. Raw? Mm-hmm. Well, if like you're using sushi. sushi grade tuna, that's what you want. You want raw. it barely warm in the center. Some people don't even like it warm. They just want it cool, but obviously not frozen. And then you want it seared on the outside. So we were talking about rest times earlier. So what on on, on a fish product like this? What is your average rest time? after you kiss it with the heat? Uh, with fish, it's going to be less, maybe five or 10 minutes. Steaks are going to be longer, uh, maybe 10 or 15. Really depends on the size of the piece of meat. Uh, big, big roasts, Boston butts, briskets, you're gonna wanna rest them for a half hour to an hour. Are you gonna put that one on yet? I will, I just wanna make sure it gets up to temperature. It's again, the know? best way to, well, you stick your hand over it. No! Yeah. <laughs> if, it, if it hurts, you're there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely there. Yep. So uh, this will give you a pretty good idea of how hot we are. Yeah, you can see that going up. Now, do you cover that too? I won't cover that. I'll cook that with the uh, with the lid up. Uh, make sure we get enough nice ventilation in there. Um, the covering is more lends itself better to the uh, uh, the Evo grill. Yep. So if people have a grill at home. They shouldn't cover it when they're cooking steaks or steaks. burgers? It's, or? it's not really necessary for steaks, but it kind of depends on the grill. I mean, for example, um, a green egg um, or any, any of a ceramic grill like this, you lose control of the temperature when you leave the lid up. Oh, okay. So you will close the lid when you're cooking something like that in almost every case. There's, I can't think of a scenario where you'd cook on a green egg uh, or a similar Kamado style grill with the lid up for any length of time because you just lose total control. Um, but if you can maintain temperature control, there's a lot of foods that the lid up is appropriate to cook with. 
Uh, it's the long slow cooks where temperature is extremely important yeah. that the lid stays down and that's the old saying if you're looking you're not cooking comes from those comes those cooks because <laughs> you don't want to be opening that lid uh, at all but this is a sear cook you're not losing moisture at all